Hello and welcome today, we're checking out Core Defense. This is a, a tower defense game being developed by Empra, who is sponsoring this video. Thank you very much, Empra. This is still in development and over on itch.io right now, uh, but it's supposed to be hitting Steam here a little bit later this year. So, uh, like a tower defense game, right? we're going to have um, things coming in to try to kill our base, and we'll be building uh, turrets and upgrading those turrets, and fighting off the swarms and swarms of horrible things trying to kill us. So, of course, I'll have links below, and you can check everything out. Let's try this thing out and see what we can do. So we can begin the game on hard difficulty, and we can go up all the way up to overload 20 at some point. So I played hard difficulty. I got to, there's, there's 50 waves in each round. I got the wave 48, and I got taken down. So <laughs> we'll try this again. And this will sort of, sort of ease us into the game, so it's okay. Now, to begin with, we choose a tower to start with. We can choose uh, a, a freezer, a sniper, or a hammer. I think the freezer and the sniper are actually two new ones that I have unlocked. Each time you play the game and die, you unlock a few things. So the freezer, we can see damages and slows mobs around it. Obviously, it's a freezer gun. We have a sniper. Dax targets at high range for high damage at a low speed. So he's slow at shooting, but he shoots hard. And then the hammer attacks single guys from massive. So basically, like the sniper is just shorter range. I'll take the sniper. You know what? We'll see how he goes. Sure. All right. So we begin the game with seven walls. These red lines are where the, uh, the mobs are coming from. And we can build our, our walls like that. So if you do put one there, it rearranges this guy's path. And so we can say, I don't want you coming in, so we'll do that. And well, how about that? And uh, maybe something like that. To try to fo force these guys to all come into one line. we got three squares left. We'll do one here, here, and uh, uh, here. So there we go. There's our walls for now. So we'll be forcing them to come into one path here. So we'll set our sniper right there. So he's got a nice range on him. So if he sees something, he'll blast it. Ideally, we'll start this thing up on 1x speed. We'll let it come in nice and slow real quick before we crank it up. So we've got our sniper here. We can see he does. Oh, here we uh, Sorry, I ruined it. I, I, I ruined it. I'm sorry. Wave clear. We destroyed the guy that was coming in. You didn't see it, but I promise it happened. And uh, we were flawless, so we get two rewards for being flawless. So now what we can do is we can build, we can buy a new tower. Uh, the colors, gray is, is basic, purple is a little bit more rare, and then gold is ultra rare on the uh, the, the cards here. I guess there's a, uh, according to the itch page, it's a roguelike tower defense game with a dash of deck building. So it's roguelike because it's it's random and uh, permadeath. Uh, it's tower defense, we know why for that. And deck building because of this part of the game. So basically what you're doing is you're choosing your upgrades. It's more like cards, I suppose. Um, we can upgrade our sniper damage, or we can add a new tower in. Or we can add a, a melter tower, which I kind of like the melter. But you know what? Let's make our sniper better. Sure. But because we were flawless, we get to do something else. Uh, upgrading the sniper speed sounds nice, but it says that this one's better. So, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to you, game. It adds my damage up 85 point. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. This is a rare card. Okay, start up. We can move things around if we want to. Eventually, we'll get more uh, walls, and we can do some more upgrading there. Let's pick, pick up the speed here. That was not that was not ideal. <laughs> so he came in and hit my base, which means I took damage, and that means that uh, well I don't get a flawless victory this time. So I have a, dam a damage base going into the next next mission. Uh, something for nothing. You get an extra wall when you skip reward. I don't care about that. Frenzy is a a action that I can use, an active thing that increases attack speed of all my towers. Or I have a, just a wall. I can throw a new, another wall in. Sure, I'll put another wall. We'll put one in right here. I need another tower. I should take another tower before this sniper's too slow. So let's try, put this guy over here, like that. If we ever want to, we can always move things around. You know, we can always rearrange it if we feel like we have made a mistake. But I'm happy with what we got. So we'll try this and see if this works. I think because he hits this, he can actually hit into these squares. So let's start this one up. He's very slow at shooting. We've got four mobs coming in. They're coming in quicker than we can fire, which is a problem. And they're shooting back at me. we got three of them. All right, we need we need uh, another tower. Let's get this. What's Quicken do? Oh, Quicken makes us shoot faster. All my towers shoot faster. Let's choose this lightning tower. Damage uh, bounces across targets. Those that take hits, uh, those hit take more damage. Yeah, yeah. I'll choose this guy. So let's get a new uh, target, a new uh, tower right there. This would be a little better, I think. Ooh, they're fast. Ooh, they're fast. Ooh, I'm doing I'm doing terrible, terrible this time. Ooh, a sunbeam tower increases damage with each consecutive attack. Hmm. Or can upgrade my range on my sniper. Or another wall. Hmm. I don't want to have too many towers in because then you, you have a bunch of weak towers. You can only have a max. There's a number of squares down here. I think it's like eight, seven or eight. Uh, you can only have a certain number of them. So each time you upgrade it, right, it's going to be less good. I'll just make my sniper better. 
Um, I need to get speed. We need a fast. Oops. We need a fast gun. So we'll try this though, uh, and we'll see if it does us any good. Let me switch these out. Put this one up this way, and this guy down here, just to see if that does any better. Because there's a couple coming in. As well, doesn't really matter. Let's see how it goes. We got five coming in. We're shooting back, but our sniper's doing things we can tell him to shoot. Uh, you know, shoot that guy if we want. We did it. We did it. Flawless victory. Okay. Keep cool. Uh, incomplete cooldowns. Tra we don't haven't seen that yet, so we'll, we'll cover that later. Uh, speaking of, we have a slow ability. So this is something we have as an active ability we can use. We can throw things out to make things go slower, which might be advantageous for what we have here. The uh, the first game I was playing, I had a uh, very f I had a repeater. Actually, I had the melter as well, and it was a fast shooter. So things are different. Let's try this melter guy. I'll throw another one in. So you can see a number of squares. Well, in seconds, uh, sniper speed we need an upgrade to. So he goes. Three tenths of a second faster. Um, so we got. Oh, I just can't see the squares down here. But there's and there's only a limited number of space, so that's all you can get throughout the whole game. And we got 50 rounds of this to try to win. Let's throw this guy over here. He's got a little range. Actually, I guess the sniper's got a pretty nasty range. Let's put this guy up front. Nope. This guy goes here, and then sniper can go in the back. Put him back over there. He can get all kinds of things at this range. So yeah, let's try this. Got what, five coming in. So he starts shooting. There he goes. Oh, it's coming in fast. I need that slow button. Okay, we got it. We didn't win all the way. Um, nope, nope, nope. Uh, I do... Another wall might be nice. More walls, more better. Because we could build a wall over here and force them all to all go this way. You know what? That actually might be good. Sniper speed, however. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I can't resist. Sniper speed. But we could... Um, if we give it one more wall, we'd put a wall here and block them all the way off. This is the whole map. And so this guy will be forced to come all the way around. I'm slowing him down a bit. That might be something we want to look into. A little bit damaged here. We can get some healing bots and hopefully get ourselves fixed up. That guy's very fast. Well, hit him, lightning man. There we go. Excellent. Oh, that was a healing guy. I should have uh, forced uh, them to shoot him. I will take the... There's a repeater gun, which is quite nice. I like that guy. Uh, I think the melter damage upgrade might be nice. Do we want another tower already? I'm going to go for it. Let's do it. And damage repeater or the speed of the melter. Let's do this wall thing I was talking about. I'm going to put a wall right there. So now they're forced to all come up this way. And um, what we could do, actually, if something comes from this way, it won't help us out very much. Unless, um, let's try something. So if you go away, can I put one? Hmm. Let's try something. Wall there. It's going to force them all into here. Mm, that's not really what I want. I would like you to be there. And let's set... Your, your uh, energy guy, you can go there, and then we'll let you go there. Sniper has a nice range, so he can go wherever he wants. And repeater man, you're just going to be kind of there for, for the last hope. Uh, I could actually sit you there. I think it might actually be better. There's going to be two lanes there. So if something comes from here, we're going to be kind of in a heap of trouble. But everything can hit it, so maybe we'll be all right. We got seven things coming in, which is not a good sign. Ah, perfect. Excellent. Okay. Best side. Oh, they shot. Oh, they shot me. They had a gun. They shot my, my core. Uh, melt to feed or, or roll the dice. I don't... Um, Reroll rewards once additional time per wave. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Hmm. Per wave? Per wave? I'll take it. Yeah, oh, you know what I did? I did something dumb. So if this square is open, they can actually shoot there. So I'm going to get rid of this. This is pointless anyways. Put that there. So that way, because if they get one square away, they can still shoot. So we don't want that to happen, obviously. All right, not the ideal side, but we can still hit them all right, I think. This guy's our last, de last defense here, but we got him. Flawless. Bonus. Repeater speed. I do want that. We got a new boom blaster uh, thing we can make, but I'm going to take this speed. Speed is good. And repeater damage, I think, is going to be good as well. The melters will go on the front line here. I think, I'm just going to take speed over everything. I'm holding out for a heal bot. Uh, is this boss mode? No. Uh, oh, it was. Wave 10 is boss mode, and we destroyed that guy. Um, Alright, so, let's see. Nanobots, we, repeat, we heal 1% of our health each wave. Four damage bonus at all towers, or there's the keep cool thing. I think this one's nice, because it kind of keeps us healthy. Because if our if our tower gets destroyed, then it gets thrown back into our pile, and it has a, cool, a cooldown on it before we can put it back out there. So it really hurts if you lose a if you lose a base. 
However, this is too good. 4% damage bonus. Yeah, I'll take it. 4%, that's good. Um, okay, I'm going to go for it. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm taking it. 1%, I'll take it. And then we're going to take... Melter damage or sniper speed, I think is going to be good. The sniper's going to be real good if we get him loaded up. Around wave 11 of 50. We've got five mobs coming in. That sniper's... He's dirty. Look at all the damage he's doing. Yeah. He's real nice when they're weak like this, or when they're slow. Sometimes they send in fast guys and it ain't so good. Ah, a healer tower. Excellent. Excellent. I want this guy. He was all adjacent. He was perfect. And I would like um, sniper range. Yeah, you know what? I'll take the sniper amazing. So the healer tower, he has a little range here, but he can heal things. Like my main base, which got healed. Um, I could stash him in the middle here. We could say something like... Hmm. I'm going to scoot. Well, he's not going to have anything to heal right now, actually. We could go... We'll leave it how it is. This guy's a little damaged, but not much. So he will... If something gets damaged, he can heal, including my core. Uh, it doesn't heal himself, though. That was a pretty easy one. Uh, here's an ability for myself. I could heal... I can myself. I could choose the heal option. Uh, which might not be a bad idea. Um, or frenzy. Would I want any of these? I'm going to reroll these. Upgrade repeater damage. Yeah, I want that one, I think. And then, Lightning Bounces. Yes, yes. It's like that live song. There we go. Something like that. Uh, let's see. Um, I could put this guy... No, you know what? I keep on thinking about that, but I'm going I'm to keep it how it is. Things are working good. Don't mess with it. Nothing's broken. Don't mess with it. I'm going to 4x. This is as fast as we go. Um, also, I haven't really shown this, but, uh, well... I, I, you can focus fire. If something comes in as a healer, you can focus on the healer if you want. You can look at your, your stats, which I sewed a little bit and kind of ruined things. But uh, there's a few things you can check out. I'll take this. We can try a reroll. Give me something good. Ooh, a, a tower thing. 10% uh, range bonus for all towers. That's all right. I'll take that. And then we have upgraded sniper damage or upgraded healer healing. I will take... We'll put another wall there. It would force them to come a little bit further around. Um... I'll take sniper damage. I can't resist that. It's a, little, it's a little big boost every time he gets upgraded. This guy's amazing. Sniper right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Melter damage. Uh, more reach. More reach. Ooh. That's like a big upgrade to my Melter, though. I'll take the reach. Okay. And sniper range, maybe? I'll take a wall. Let's try how, let's see how this works. Gonna force him to go a little ways around and out of everyone's reach, or we could throw it just a little bit further out to make these two go slow, go for it further. They're still in the sniper range. Let's try that. Uh, I think maybe the healer shouldn't be on the end because he's gonna get blasted by things coming in here. Let's swap you two. Healer goes there. Gun goes there to shoot things. Uh, help me out here. Oh, we got him. Okay, flawless. Excellent. Uh, sniper rage. Repeater damage. Sniper range, yeah, yeah. Go with that sniper. Half a tile. Healer healing boost, or uh, let's see the repeater upgrade. So this is a obviously sponsor video, so I got a the 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 little brief I get for what to talk about. Um, there's not much for this one, but there was one thing mentioned, and it was um, talking about the the just one more turn uh, po uh, part of the game. And um, yeah, you know what? That certainly is a part of the game. I play this as a uh, just sort of a test. I was just gonna play just a couple rounds just to sort of get myself get my feet wet before I jumped into the to the video, and I ended up playing the whole almost the whole wave. So it certainly has a just one more turn op uh, feel to it. Repeater speed is is always good, but that range thing range just seems too good. Ten percent bonus seems seems too good. Look at the range the sniper has. He can hit everything. Ooh, they're coming in fast. Too fast. No, they got me a little bit. All right, so I don't get my I don't get my bonus. I can do melter damage or sniper range again. I'll take the melter damage. I need sniper damage. That guy's too good. We want to make him even better. I should have rerolled. Okay, we can we can focus fire. Like tell him shoot that guy. And they'll focus on that guy. Another hammer upgrade. Do I want another another one? Hmm. I'll take this. I'll just keep on with the damage. Melter damage. I'll take that. I don't know. We could get it like a wall in... I can't put one there. I can't... I can put one here. 
and just take my sniper on that spot and put another... We have a spot here for a gun, I guess. So we could put something over this way. One of, there's a few that have uh, just sort of like a little area effect attacks, and that would be a good spot for one right there. I need to move my healer bot a little bit over so we can heal him. That was quick. Take a break. Um, you don't see 10% of their max health when you skip a reward. Hmm, maybe. Um, this slow is... I used it in before, and it was pretty handy, so I'm going to take this. Sniper speed, excellent. Let's swap this guy and this guy. You come in here. You can go... I'm going to put you way out there, buddy. So this way, I think you're in range. Oh, you're not. Uh, I swapped you two. There you go. So you can heal him. Um, I kind of want my sniper actually out. Hmm. Sniper out here. Is that wasting a lot of space? Maybe. Oh, boss wave. Slow him down. No, we didn't need it, but we wasted it. Uh, all right, so we got 25 seconds before we can use that thing again. Quicken. 2%. Attack speed bonus to all towers. There's the uh, heal 1% each round, and we have to take a break, which is... Skipping Let's take the uh, speedy. Speedy towers. Healing upgrade on my tower would be nice. I'm going to keep the speed, though. Speed too good. Keep my I'm cool down here now. Okay. Masonry. Get two walls when you choose a wall as a reward. Oh, that's new. I don't remember seeing that one. Hmm. Do I want more walls? We could. We could put a wall here, and then we have them all forced to go... Well, I don't know if we can go the whole wall. We would block them off. What happens over there? Do we need another wall? Maybe. Healer range. I do want that, actually. Give me that. And then my slow duration upgrade. Uh, it's okay. Just give me more sniper range. More sniper range. If it means snipers, we want it. He can reach that spot there. I think this is good right here, actually, for my sniper. Mm, good thing I put him over there wisely, as if I knew what I was doing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We got uh, a boom blast attack. So I think this is the one. This is the one that attacks all targets around it for high damage and low speed. This right here would be perfect spot for that guy. Quicken's nice, but I'm going to take this guy. Actually, both of those are really nice. Um, I want all these. I'll take repeater damage. Okay, so right here, I'm going to put you right there, and then this boom guy is going to go here, because we can hit just boom all around. He didn't do much damage yet, because he's not upgraded. But that was my last thing I can get. We're all out of... Uh, we can't add any more towers, no more... Um, um, whatever you call them. Um, uh, active things that we can use. Lightning damage upgrade, boom blaster damage would be nice to have. Repeater penetration. Yeah, you know what? That's gold, and that seems good. I do want the Boom Blaster damage, though, so we'll take that as well. Sniper range? Do we need more sniper range? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Sniper. He's too important. Doesn't really do much good, because it gave us, like... Well, maybe one more will be good. You can almost kill these things in one shot, still. Okay. Uh, healer healing. Refine is more damage. I do want that. And then we can go with Meteor... Melter speed? Sniper range. Yeah, look at this guy. Don't mess with my sniper. Okay. Kill them, please. Need range. Uh, slow. Stop hurting me. Who does bad? Who does real bad? Hmm. And about repeals, uh, heals, right? Let's go with a. Let's try a wall. And if I put a wall there, does that help me any? It gives him a little bit longer ways to walk. Or, or bot around, whatever you want to call it. And I can move this guy over here, and then we can get... I think it might be beneficial, actually, to have him here. He's got a little range, but he can hit all this. Let's try that. This is where they're coming in. We can even make this go a little further. More walls go for further down. Make them snake in. You know, like a speed boost until he gets hit, I guess. Okay. Boom Blaster Damage, I think, is a good one. Sniper Range. Mm, yeah. Go on that Sniper. So there's, there's my Boom Blaster Damage. Ooh, here comes a bunch of them. Ooh, it was a bad one. I don't know how much slow. Right, hit those guys. Those right here. 
We almost we had one thing come through and hit us. Uh, sniper range. Hit melter speed. Healer should be... Yeah, he's... He's healing. Are you healing this? Yeah, he is. That wasn't very good either. Sniper range. I'm taking it. Keep coming from over there. It's a problem. I need more walls over here. Force them to come a little bit further down. Move my guns further down here so they all, they're all going to be walking by here. I'll take some, some boom blaster damage. And I'm going to take a wall. I'm going to take that wall and stick it right there. I'm going to move this guy over there. Oh, that's my sniper. Hang on. I want you over. Oops. Sniper's in a good spot. He can reach the whole battlefield. Uh, but I'm going to put Electric Man right there. He can hit that corner. I think that's good. I kind of want the Boom Guy there, too, though. We'll try this. Oh, this boss. Ah! Did he get us? Oh, flawless! Excellent, excellent. Uh, one more war less, but much higher chance of rares. Hmm. We gotta take the damage. Okay. And, uh, and Melter Speed, sure. Alright, well, there we go. There is Core Defense. We made it through three bosses anyway. It is available on itch.io. It's on sale, actually, at the moment, if you're watching this video as this comes out. Uh, it's supposed to be on Steam before too long. I'll have links and everything below. Thanks again for the sponsor, uh, Core Defense. And I will see you next time.